everyone welcome back to another exo zeros episode so today let's talk about fc dorka yeah you heard me right future gold fc dorka but before that if you would have updated exo zeros videos please hit the subscribe button down below all right guys so um let me just put this out of the way first there has been no confirmation on what FC Dorka uh, or Gold FC Dorka would have. There's no spec. There's no you know. There's no um, leaks yet. This is just purely speculation on my end. Actually, I I'm, I'm already tired of all the the waiting and uh, you know the discussions on how you know, how very you know very overpowered she is even without F without her FC and. I want to, you know, take uh, take this opportunity to discuss with you guys how she is now and what she could be when she comes out. So let's take a look at first her skills. Um, I know most of you have, you know, are already familiar with her skills, but again, I will discuss this for the benefit of new players that we have here. So in terms of her passive guys so she has focus fire three unleash potential once once you unleash her deals additional 1000 piercing damage when attacking an enemy which is actually fantastic um piercing is going to be her bread and butter in terms of damage dealing and she is unique because her mana her grace of mana gives one mana permanently to all allies okay take note of that to all allies not just the front row not just the back row but for everybody in her team so this is what makes her unique among the generals okay and her passive which is soul bond grants allies with a less attack than self with the soul bond mark and heals 30 percent of missing health every turn reduces magic damage taken by 30 percent this as well is one of the best passives that i've seen for a attack type no attack type sorry chaos type hero to have additional support capabilities this is very unique to her actually very unique and very useful as well let's take a look at her s1 so s1 is is actually an aoe 60 percent uh, damage dealt to all enemies a flex target with bleed dealing 39 percent damage for every turn for two turns so this skill is actually very useful for both PvP and PvE. So for PvE, um, Guardian Stones, um, if you want to break um, multiple Guardian Stones, this is going to be good. An each potential effect, if once you unlock this, has a bind. So binds gains mana, gain mana effects on the target for two turns. Okay, so bind, uh, basically the, that that for example that hero or that uh, character does not gain mana for two turns so again this is an aoe which is actually very useful as a, a utility skill or spell then for her s2 you have your 367 piercing damage to one enemy which is also one of our best skills and also this skill has bind as well so again right now she's kind of overpowered even without her fc so it's going to be a lot of discussion on what they're going to give her i just hope that the devs do not nerf her skills because there are some instances that that uh, even though they put out an fc <coughs> or a fate core they nerf some of the uh, some of the uh, some of the skills sorry um so this is actually my dorka in her I actually I actually captioned this as her wedding dress. So um she's going to be married in this one and for her other one This one is not her wedding dress. This is going to be after the wedding. <laughs> after the wedding dress. So again uh very this is a very good skin that i have seen one of the best skins that i have seen um this skin is actually more more applicable to her than to um fc Jinai. so again this is going to be her after wedding dress you know what i mean so there are a few themes that lack gold fate core so one of them is black and white 
The other is Great Brun. And the most previous one would be Summer Paradise. Okay, so which most likely will she land if she's going to land the next few weeks, months? We're not sure yet, but let's let's just discuss this, okay? Black and white. <clears throat> definitely, I see Harry landing here. Um, it's not going to be Dorka landing here because of what her design is um, in the teasers. So let's just let's just take a look at the passive that just in case Dorka lands here, what she, what is she going to get? So she's going to get, I think, corruption. So increases own attack by twenty percent. Which is also very good because she needs this as her passive um, for her passive soul bond for seven turns upon receiving health regeneration, which is actually she is giving to herself as well. So this would be kind of good, but I don't think the devs would give her this because this would really overpower. No, this would make her very overpowered. This is going to break the meta for PvP and more or less a lot will be, you know, will be carrying FC Dorka in most of the teams. But um, definitely black and white would have a small chance or probability that she would be here. The next one, which I think is going to be obvious, is the Great Brun. Okay. Most likely she's going to be here. But I have another argument later uh, for another theme. So if you can see, let's take a look at the uh, passive. The one that's going to be passed a, as a steady passive for the theme is Flag of Providence. Okay, so this is going to be increased defense. Um, let's take a look at Garf. I think for Garf, this is going to be increased defense as well. And for, okay, so it still increased defense by 20% for each back row hero and attack by 20% for each front row hero. So again, it works both ways. So the increase could be on defense, could be on attack as well. But again, most of us knowing Dorka, she's going to receive more of, uh, she's go, uh, players were, are going to create a team where um the front row has more because they want to take advantage of the attack most probably the, the the scenario would be three on the front and two at the back it's going to be rare that there are going to be three on the front a uh, four in the front and only door cut the back so most probably it's going to be three three front two back or two front or three back so again this is going to be a no-brainer and a very good passive for her to have I'm not going to speculate on what additional, what do you call this? What additional skills does she need for her passive? Because usually for generals, there are additional passives aside from the main passive. So I'd like to hear from you guys on what kind of passive would you want to be placed on her? Provided that she's not overpowered. Also for her S1 and S2, please recommend a certain skill that you would want to see in her S1 and S2, again, provided that she doesn't uh, get overpowered. Okay, put them down in the comment section below. I'd like to hear from you guys. Let's discuss this because, again, I am I have been reading a lot of comments on where is FC Dorka, when is she coming, what is her fate core, what is her theme, and those things. So, again, this is now our chance to discuss this and put them down in the comment section below. But my favorite, guys, is going to be... Summer Paradise. Not for the passive. Not for the passive. Because the passive for Summer Paradise is going to be Life Jacket. So this is the theme passive that is going to be given to every every hero here. So a Life Jacket, if an ally is affected by a debuff, debuff removes all debuff from the ally and increases critical hit for all allies. By 300 for eight turns upon successful removal one time per battle can't be stacked i only want her here because i want her to be in a swimsuit that's it no other reason for summer paradise so for those of you who want summer paradise to be um her what they call this her theme for her gold fate core please put them down in the comment section below as well because again if she gets life jacket definitely she'll get another passive so 
it's kinda it's kinda doable it's kinda possible um i don't mind um her being released before the year ends as long as they release her but again this would be one of the best fcs i think that would be out and a lot of people will be going crazy if they see dorka in a swimsuit so that's it guys so those are actually my speculations most probably she's going to be in the great brun my wish list would be in summer paradise that is my wish list hope the devs are listening to us and hopefully they could release fc dorka not the red one of course the gold fate core dorka soon okay guys so thank you very much for the discussion and for staying this far in this video don't forget to subscribe or consider subscribing if you have reached this far and also don't forget to click the bell icon and also put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here